Get your decade ahead horoscope now at NadiaShaw.com. Hello, fabulous Virgo. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of August 2019, looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is. We have an active and fabulous sky playing out right now. And look, before I dive in to what is happening, like right out of the gate in the full moon, in the middle of the month, let me say first, <laughs> late in the month, you will actually end this month with a new moon in your sign. Now this is a remarkable new moon, one of the more positive new moons that I have seen in a while. It is one of supreme harmony and luck and things changing very quickly in a way that you love and you feeling like different areas of your life have just come together. You feeling as if you are coming into yourself more than you have in a while. And there's a sense of true integration happening at this time and integration on a level of heart and soul. And I think that this is one of the high points of the year for you actually. And it's one of those points where you will realize and put so much of this year so far into perspective. You will realize the journey that you have been on and what has mattered and what hasn't and now here is a bright new beginning, a bright payoff, if you will, to all that has led you to this moment. It is all about the new and the next and fresh energy coming in that is gonna bless you on many fronts. And so that is what I want you to focus on, okay? Because I think that that really is the great blessing this month and you truly are one of the more fortunate people of all the zodiac this month thanks to that new moon in your sign. Now I'll talk more about that in just a bit, but I wanna take a step back now because this month starts on a new moon and ends on a new moon, that is rare. And so right out of the gate, we have a new moon happening in the sign just before yours. Now this new moon, depending on where you are on the planet, you can give or take a day on either side, which means for some people out there, you are entering this month with the energy of this new moon. Now this new moon will be speaking in a conversation of tension with Uranus. It is hand in hand with Venus. That in and of itself can be really nice. You can imagine Venus is a, a beautiful, loving energy, right? An energy of beauty hand in hand with the new moon. That's usually really good. However, because of that Uranian connection, uh, there's a lot going on here. And for you in particular, there might be an inner sense of restlessness an inner sense of frustration. And that's where you wanna surrender this energy. When you have important lunar energy in this particular part of the sky, it's not so much about action, but it's a lot more about surrender and about acceptance. It's about trusting that what is for you will be for you. And I'll tell you, the new and the amazing, so much is opening up for you as we move towards the later parts of the month that it, it's almost as if this is more of a cleansing. And the more you try to hold on to where it is that the universe is trying to create space, uh, the more it is that you will find yourself being restless. If it is that there's a particular project or endeavor that you've been working on that is now showing itself to you that it is not working, it would be a good idea to listen, to be open to the possibility that you know maybe a particular project um, however much energy you have poured into it, if it is truly not feeling as if it is flowing or coming together, it's okay to put it aside for a little while. It's okay if it feels as if a certain chapter in one area of your life is coming to a close, because with every ending, there is a beginning. With every sense of awareness of where it is that the universe is wanting to create space, well, there is the assurance that that space will be filled very soon with something even better. And that is the energy to hold on to as you start this month. That sense of what is even better, that'll start revealing itself to you as we move about a week into the month, so pretty soon. Now, as we navigate later, right in the middle of the month is when we are going to have a full moon. This full moon is happening across the sky from Mars and Venus. And the full moon is happening in a part of the sky for you that has to do with your daily life. Um, this is your workplace, the people who surround you there, the type of work you're doing, 
uh, the projects they're working on. This is also uh, a sense of well-being, your health and how well it is you feel within you. All of that is highlighted here in powerful ways. Now, very likely there are going to be changes where it comes to your work and there might be again, some mixed feelings around this. It could be that uh, a coworker or immediate supervisor leaves your workspace. Um, and again, there's that sense of needing to find compromise, needing to negotiate uh, a sense of needing to look at things from different perspectives. And what that means to me is also mixed feelings on your part as to whom it is that is exiting or how it is that things could be changing at this time. It can feel as if a project is ending, but you're not really sure how you feel about that. Maybe you feel like there's more to give or more to do. Trust, again, whatever it is that feels like it needs to exit, what it feels like it needs to leave, trust it. It will lead you somewhere good very, very soon. And I would also add on a health level, this can be an important moment as well, where you look at what it is that is working and what it is that isn't, and you start to consider ways in which to refine your pathway forward. Now, it isn't just about this full moon, but literally just days before this full moon, Jupiter will go direct and we will also have Uranus going retrograde. So there's this overall very strong energy in the air, an energy of consequence. And all of this is gonna to come together for you where it comes to your daily life. It's only gonna to add to the emotions that you are feeling around this time. Now, here's also something to remember. When it is that, for example, cause we're talking about health, right? When it is that I'm looking at a chart and somebody asks me about health, right? They wanna know what's gonna happen in terms of health. This is one of the areas that we look at, right? We wanna see how this area is doing, but for the most part, it really has to do with your habits and your medications and the little things that you do, your doctor's visits, things like that, the little routines, the little habits that affirm an overall sense of well being. However, when we look at vitality, right? Like if you wanna know, is this person gonna be okay? That's a different part of the sky. That is your part of the sky. That is what is happening in your sign that is gonna to speak to your overall sense of life force, your overall sense of vitality. And that affirms whether or not this person really is gonna be okay and how they're gonna navigate this pathway forward. So within days of this full moon, planets start moving into your sign one at a time. And so we've got Mars moving into your sign. We've got Venus moving into your sign. We've got Mercury moving into your sign. And all of that culminates with the end of the month and the new moon. Now that new moon happening hand in hand with these three planets will speak in supreme harmony with Uranus. I cannot emphasize how amazing this is, okay? How great this is. And also I want to emphasize that no matter what it is that happens in the middle of the month, and no matter what it is that's feeling like it's changing with your work or what it is that is coming up for you in terms of your health and in terms of your habits, know that this is ultimately part of a wise plan to get you to that place where you are feeling better than you have in a very long time, where you are feeling uh, light, and excited and alive really that's how i see this energy it is an energy of of enthusiasm and of electricity running through you and chances are with this people will be telling you that you look better than you have in a while as well you'll be feeling a lot more energetic this is the build up towards all this new energy that one by one starts entering your sign before the month is over and all that energy that ultimately says that you truly are on the precipice of a brand new chapter for you. And certainly one of the high points of this year for you is going to occur with that new moon that you end the month with. You will carry that energy into next month as well. I'll be here to talk about it as we go along, but this is good. This is very, very nice. And wherever it is that the universe has been wanting the new and the next to enter, this is where it starts to enter and chances are it is better it is luckier it makes you happier than anything you could have expected it truly does take you by surprise but it is absolute delight and i don't say all that lightly okay now let's talk about love because before i dive into this month with love i just want to give you a little bit of a heads up 
Next month, we have a full moon where it comes to matters of love that tends to represent an important moment, a high point over the course of a year for matters of love. So you have that to look forward to. And again, I'll be here to talk about it every step of the way. But for now, it is Venus moving into your sign about three weeks into the month that is going to begin a truly beautiful phase for you. It is going to set up a good four week cycle where you have got this beautiful Venusian energy with you. It makes it that much easier to attract what it is that you desire in your life, including love. Now, outside of love, all else being equal, okay, because um, as we go along week to week, there can be variations on this energy, but all else being equal, Venus entering your sign tends to be really good for making any kind of aesthetic changes or just connecting to a spirit of pleasure. And so whether it is that you want to try a new hair color, which you know I'm quite fond of doing, but you want to try a new hair color, you want to try a new wardrobe, or you want to do something more permanent like tattoos or cosmetic procedures, it is Venus entering your sign that is going to give you just the boost you need so that it allows for results that you really do love. Now, some of the peak moments of that energy are going to come as you enter next month. Again, I'll be here to talk about it every step of the way, but I just wanna give you a little bit of a heads up, especially if you're watching me week to week, and especially if you're on the superstar space, then I'll be telling you about this week to week anyways, but we are gonna be ending this month with beautiful energy between, um, between Venus and Uranus. Uh, and then as we navigate forward, the only spot you wanna be a little bit careful of is Venus and Neptune. Other than that, Venus, Saturn, Venus, Pluto, all of that, wherever it is that you wanna experiment or you just wanna connect with an energy of beauty and joy and pleasure, uh, whether it's getting massages or whether it is just practicing self-care as you define it, you truly are on the road of understanding that more deeply and reaping huge benefits as a result. But now let's get back to love. Venus in your sign is really good for love. It allows you to attract love that much easily. And it isn't that you have to go out there and make it happen, even though Mars in your sign is gonna make you wanna go out there and make it happen, it tends to make you more um, desiring of connecting with another person physically. That's, that's the best way to put it. So these two energies together, moving through your sign, are very powerful indeed. For those of you open to meeting someone new, there's not a whole lot you need to do when you've got Venus in your sign. And again, it's about three weeks into the month that Mars and Venus enter your sign. And so that Mars can make you feel that much more courageous and brave and bold as you go out there to meet new people, but it is ultimately Venus that's gonna allow love to just kind of show up for you. For those of you who are just getting to know someone, if you've just started dating someone, this is a very powerful energy as well. This is gonna allow you to feel that much more love with this person. Mars moving into your sign is going to motivate you to know this person more intimately. And it is ultimately these two energies together that are gonna allow you to feel that much closer and that much more enjoying of this person's company. Now the exception to this energy is right out of the gate as we start this month. As I said, it's a time of karmic closures. And so if it feels like someone is exiting your life, if a situation is coming to an end, that's okay. If it comes, let it. If it goes, let it. Because you are certainly moving towards an appreciation of all the options you have available to you where it comes to matters of love. And if you are in an established bond, this is such beautiful energy for those of you in an established bond. Again, it allows you to just feel more loved, like love is showing up for you that much more. And very likely will motivate you to connect with your partner more thanks to Mars. Now the thing though that you wanna be a little bit careful of is with Mars in your sign, sometimes there tends to be um, a motivation to change. There's this almost visceral desire to take action to change your life. And if you are not owning that, then sometimes that energy can turn in on itself and become a little bit frustrated. And sometimes people might take it out on their partners. So that's where you have to be a little bit careful. If you find yourself feeling more frustrated with your partner than usual, just make sure you take that moment to check in with yourself to make sure it's not about them or it is about them, um, regardless, make sure that you're checking in with yourself to make sure that you are 
owning the change you wish to move towards. And if you do that, then you will be using that Mars energy by taking action on your own behalf and also tapping into that Venusian energy that allows love to just show up for you. What I love about this month for you, of course, it is that new moon at the end of the month. Without a doubt for you, that is the high point. That is the beautiful energy. And that energy grows and grows as you navigate later and later into the month. You have so much to look forward to here. There is such a sense of new beginnings in a way that you love, in a way that reaches you heart and motivation and mind. By the time we get there, your ruling planet is back in your sign as well. You will be feeling more like yourself than you have in a while. I think that this is truly exciting and wherever it is that you are hoping to make any kind of new beginning that matters to you, schedule it for late in the month. You'll be that much more glad that you tapped into that energy and chances are things will go better than anything you could have planned for yourself. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.